Scientists are calling on the government to ban seabed mining and bottom trawling in certain areas as part of the effort to tackle climate change. They've worked out the amount of carbon stored in New Zealand's seabeds, which, when disturbed, is released back into the ocean as CO2. Climate correspondent Isabel Ewing reports. Easily forgotten far below the surface, seabeds are one of the largest carbon banks on Earth. And scientists now know how much they're storing across New Zealand's vast marine area, roughly 2,240 million tonnes of carbon. So what is the magnitude, what is the extent of the issue? Then we can have an evidence-based conversation, we can have a real strong conversation. What do we need to do to protect it? Sedimentary carbon is from dead plants and creatures that have settled into the seabed. When it's disturbed and released as CO2, it contributes to ocean acidification and reduces the ocean's ability to store greenhouse gases. How that carbon is being moved around in the natural environment, how we as humans potentially could uh, disrupt or disturb that, um, those, those natural cycles. The report showed the highest concentrations of carbon to be off South Westland, Fiordland and the heavily fished Chatham Rise, and also in shallow areas like the Firth of Thames. The report also looked at where seabeds are being disturbed by bottom trawling, and scientists hope government takes notice. They can say, all right, you can bottom trawl, but only in the places where the uh, activity is not causing too much damage. In a statement to News Hub, Seafood NZ CEO Jeremy Halson said restricting fishing on the Chatham Rise will have a big impact on New Zealand's ability to supply fish. So he said it's crucial that any science that informs decisions around where trawling can happen is properly peer reviewed. Other activities like seabed mining, dredging and anchoring also release carbon in harbours and estuaries. And scientists say the impact of these also needs to be better understood. Humans made this problem, humans can fix this problem. Uh, what we need to do is have the political will. Because protecting seabeds is one thing we can do to slow the rapid heating of our planet. Isabel Ewing, News Hub.